Did you know that you can uncover important insights about your forms by utilizing UTM tracking? Let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I am currently in the features landing page for UTM tracking. Now, if you've never heard of this before, UTM parameters are short codes that you can add to the end of your URL to track all kinds of things regarding your form. Now, in this video, I'm only gonna cover a few of these, so make sure you come back to this landing page and check out everything that they have to offer. So let's head over to my dashboard. Now, for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and build a brand new form. So top left-hand corner, we're going to create a form. I'm gonna start from scratch on the classic form. And just to get things going, I'm gonna add a couple form elements. Let's just do name and maybe email. And to add those UTM parameters, we want to use the short text field. Now there's five different parameters that you can utilize, but for this example, we are going to utilize source and campaign. So I'm gonna use two, so let's go ahead and add in another short text. Now we're going to change the name of these to that UTM parameter. So for this one, we are going to do UTM underscore campaign. And then for the second one, we're gonna do UTM underscore source. Perfect. Now keep in mind that there are no spaces. If there is a space, it, there needs to be an underscore. Now if I click on the properties tab and we go up to the advanced option and we scroll down to field details, just make sure that the unique name matches. So for here is UTM underscore source and for campaign, it needs to be UTM underscore campaign as well. Now one other thing to keep in mind with these is I personally don't want my users to see that I am tracking these things. So I want to hide both of these fields. So let's go ahead and hide this one. And then our campaign, we will hide this one as well. Perfect. So now whenever we go to share this link, I'm gonna come up here to publish. I'm going to copy this link. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab. Now, as you can see, those two fields are completely hidden. So if we want to start tracking these things, I'm gonna go ahead and add those UTM codes to the end of my URL. So we can see here, we have the demo.jotform.com backslash this forms ID. After that ID, we need to put a question mark. Then we can go ahead and put the UTM campaign. So we're gonna do UTM underscore campaign and then we're going to do the equal sign and we can name whatever this campaign is going to be let's say i want to have this campaign be my summer sale so we're going to do summer sale then to add in the source we're going to add the ampersand sign and we're going to do utm underscore source and where are we going to share this form? Are we going to share it maybe on Google, on our website, on Facebook? Where do we want to share this form to kind of gather that tracking? So let's say I'm gonna share this form on Facebook. So I'm gonna add in Facebook. So you can see we have our form URL right here, that question mark, the UTM campaign is summer sale and the UTM source is Facebook. So let's go ahead and fill this out and then we can take a peek at our table. Perfect, now let's head back over to our tables. And here we go, we see it, Kathy Smith, she filled it out with the form on Facebook and it's for that summer sale. Now, of course, if you're sharing this in other places, all you need to do is just copy that link and change that source to wherever it is that you are sharing. Now, it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about utilizing UTM parameters with your forms, let us know down below in the comments and don't forget to check out that features landing page. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.